Virgos! Welcome to the weekly love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from August 22nd to the 31st. Virgos, you guys are serious. <laughs> Your energy is really serious, um, but I love it though. I love it. I heard the first thing I heard was step it up, <laughs> step it up. <laughs> it was like super, super serious. And then I saw turbines actually, turbines going, turbines moving. It's like, it's almost like you guys are jumping in the car, turning on the engine and it's like, step it up and get in the car or I'm leaving your ass behind. It's like, it's very, 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 very serious. Some of you could be telling someone to step it up. I feel like you're telling yourself to step it up, to be honest with you. I feel like you're almost talking yourself up, getting yourself going, getting yourself ready to do whatever the hell it is you want to do. I also feel a big, heavy sense of release because I heard release, release, release. I heard it three times. I heard release three times. Some of you guys could be getting rid of baggage, cutting people out of your life, just releasing shit that does not serve you, releasing stuff that really, really has been either holding you back um, or has been kind of toxic in your life. And maybe you've been really coming to some realizations about some of those things re like recently. A lot of it feels old. A lot of it feels like stuff you've been aware that you need to let go of, but some of it feels like recent um, acknowledgement of certain, some things or some people that you're releasing yourself from. Now, Virgos. I know I felt this energy with you before at some point in time in the last couple months. I feel a very, I feel, I feel a feminine energy. Now here's what's interesting. This feminine energy, male or female, it's a feminine energy. It feels very air heavy because I actually um, saw the five of swords and seven of swords as I was getting into your energy when I was feeling this feminine energy. Um, I just, I feel weird about this feminine energy because for some of you, I feel like it is someone who has actively tried to sabotage you and it does feel like it's been around work um, or it's affected your work. I'll say it that way. This person has affected your work because they're either in your work environment or it's been someone in your life that's caused so much distraction and stress that it has affected your productivity at work, okay? Um, but others, I almost feel like it's a perception of. Does that make sense? Like I almost feel like for some of you, you're perceiving a feminine energy as deceptive. And I want to keep saying perceiving because for some, I actually feel like this person's not deceptive, but you're made to believe this person's deceptive. Okay. So take that as it resonates. Take that as it resonates. Um, so yeah, for goes, you guys, you guys are just really serious right now. You're getting your gears going. You're turning those turbines. You're leaving people behind. You're leaving shit behind and you're not fucking around. <laughs> you're not fucking around. You're very serious. Step it up. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into this reading. Keep in mind, sorry, I jumped I jumped right into that because I'm like, that energy was just so like beckoning. I had to just talk about it. For my newbies, everything I just said, part of my meditative session that I did is energy in and around you, okay? So it could pertain directly to you or it could be pertaining to someone uh, connected to you energetically or someone in your energy field, okay? So take it as it resonates. It could also be vice versa. Um, but let's go ahead and get into your reading, yeah? So keep in mind, guys, these are very general readings. Uh, these messages will not pertain to everybody. Messages come through for those who need to hear them. So, excuse me, if this message isn't for you, it's just not for you. It just wasn't your week. Someone else had to hear that message more urgently. Okay, I'm just the messenger. I just give what I get, all right? If it's not your message, it's okay. I don't need to throw any hate or shade. <laughs> Please, by all means, look up other readers that you guys really like, okay? Um, also guys, keep in mind, we are working with energy. So these messages, like I said, can be vice versa. Energy is fluid. It's not linear. It's not fixed. If it's resonating, but it's vice versa, vice versa, if it's reversed, it still resonates, obviously, and it's still accurate for you. Okay. Also guys, gender does not matter. We all have masculine and feminine energy. So don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Also, don't get hung up on the signs that I'm calling out. I call out sign energy for informative purposes. Um, your person or you or people that are pertaining to this reading for you do not have to be these signs. It's energy that's being harnessed because we can all harness any energy of any sign we want to. Okay. All right, guys, let's get into this. Also, these are opportunities that I'm talking about. These are just messages. You do not have to take every opportunity I talk about. They are opportunities. You are masters of your own life. Okay. All right, Virgos, let's get into it. Any messages for Virgos? Regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Any messages for Virgos? Why am I? Oh, I just saw fencing. It looked very scary. <laughs> it had like barbed wire on it and stuff. Uh, I feel like you guys are just setting boundaries. I feel like you guys are just setting boundaries for yourself. Trying to protect yourself. I really feel like that's all it is. Yeah, I feel like that's all it is. Just be careful though that you're not pushing away 
people who are supportive of you. Just make sure you're not being too, um, <laughs> make sure you're just not being too aggressive on your boundaries, okay? Any messages from my Virgos regarding love? August 22nd to the 31st. Any messages for Virgos regarding love? August 22nd to the 31st. Any messages for Virgos regarding love? August 22nd to the 31st. Any messages for Virgos regarding love? August 22nd to the 31st. Okay. Oh, that was very quick. Let's see what we have here. Oh, we got three of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, Knight of Pentacles, Virgo. I love it when a Virgo card shows up in a Virgo reading. Uh, Earth energy could also be fire. Oh, and then we have the Hangman in reverse, Piscean energy, Virgo. I love this. I love this. This is basically you realizing what you want to do. Okay, you realizing the moves you got to make, realizing the stuff you got to start building, the, the plans you got to start making, the people you got to start collaborating with, working with, realizing that, realizing that, coming to terms with that and making it happen. Very nice. Very nice. Let's see what else we got here. Any messages for Virgos regarding love? August 22nd to the 31st. Oh, nice, Virgo. Any messages for Virgos regarding love? August 22nd to the 31st. No. Any messages for Virgos regarding love? August 22nd to the 31st. Oh, that's it. Chariot, Cancerian energy, forward movement. I just heard to get the hell out of Dodge. <laughs> like I said, some of you guys are releasing a lot of stuff. Some of you guys could be leaving a lot behind, but you're heading towards something awesome. You're heading towards whatever it is you want to work on, whatever it is you want to do, whatever you want to start building, start planning, start collaborating. I do feel that for some of you, there are other people involved here. I do feel that other people involved here for a lot of you. Focus. There we go. Overall energy. This is interesting. We have four pentacles. Capricorn energy. You guys could be saving a lot of money to do this, but I almost feel like this is you like standing your ground actually which is interesting for four pentacles it's like oh, values thank you values that's what it is you're holding on to your values you're holding on to your values you're holding on to your beliefs you're holding on to the thing that your tools also it's like yeah you're holding on to everything you need to hold on to that you feel you need to protect that you feel you need to protect and that you feel will serve you in whatever it is you're, you're about to start building okay i like i freaking love this guys this chariot card is screaming at me can't wait to see what's going on with this but virgo this looks beautiful this looks beautiful i really like it i really like i just keep hearing hold strong hold strong hold strong i'm holding strong i'm holding strong i'm holding strong i felt the need to say it three times i like it virgo i really like it so let's go ahead and look at this three of pentacles and look what it is you're trying to build here okay let me use rider weight to clarify Tell me about Three of Pentacles for Virgo regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about Three of Pentacles for Virgo regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about Three of Pentacles for Virgo regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about Three of Pentacles for Virgo regarding love. Oh, by the way, happy birthday, Virgos, <laughs> to my August Virgos. My bad, my bad. Tell me about Three of Pentacles for Virgo regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Ooh, oh my. Hmm, Emperor in reverse, Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy. Why do I not like this energy, Virgo? Virgo, be careful who you're doing business dealings with. Be very careful. I feel like not quite snake, snake, not quite snake oil salesman, but someone who doesn't quite know what they're doing. That's kind of the energy that I'm getting. Oh, we got an empress on the bottom. Very interesting. Um, I feel like this is your energy, actually. You're coming in knowing what you want, knowing what you want, not fucking around, not playing games, having done research. I feel like you guys have done a lot of research on whatever it is you're trying to get to. But this person that some of you might be dealing with or going into business dealings with, just be careful. Make sure you do a background. Definitely do a background check. Some of you haven't done that. Definitely do a background check on this person. I'm just, I feel this person's capability might not be quite up to yours. Okay. So just be mindful of that. Oh, interesting. Oh, 
some of you this isn't just work sorry now I'm like <laughs> now I'm picking up on a love connection here picking up on a love connection here and I can feel your irritation someone who hasn't let go of you but you're holding strong with your values on it and how and how you feel about it you're not budging you're not budging I love that not budging <laughs> and you shouldn't you shouldn't um because Virgos like I said you know what you want you know what you want you know what you want you know what you need and you're not going to budge on that and you shouldn't budge on that but I do feel for some of you there's a love connection here where someone is trying to work with you someone's trying to like talk to you it's really just about talking right now yeah someone's trying to talk to you and it's an emperor in reverse that's for those where this is a love connection most of you this is business or career um yeah someone is trying to talk to you in a romantic sense but emperor in reverse they don't feel like they're sturdy i gotta be honest they don't feel like they're really stable it feels like they're talking the talk but they can't walk the walk let's see what else we got out here Talk about the Three of Pentacles for Virgo. Talk about the Three of Pentacles for Virgo regarding love. August 22nd to the 31st. I just believe. That's why they don't feel sturdy, Virgo. This is someone who doesn't believe in themselves. For whatever scenario you're finding yourself in, business or love, yeah, they, they are not sure of themselves. And when you're not sure of yourself, you just kind of manifest that you're not capable, right? Talk about Three of Pentacles for Virgo regarding love august 22nd to the 31st whoa whoa okay cards wanted to come flying out here we have the full aries energy could also be aquarius because there's a uranus card and then we have devil in reverse capricorn energy with justice in reverse libra energy and then we have the high priestess piscean energy also gemini for me as a reader this is very interesting energy oh that's why this emperor okay that's why i'm not loving this emperor so Virgos, you might already know what's up with this emperor when it comes to oh, when it comes to business or love, because I feel this is you taking a really big risk when it comes to business and or love. But you pulled away from some kind of toxicity, something that wasn't going to serve you, something that was going to keep you trapped. It's trap, trap, trap. They're, <laughs> they're saying trap. Um, <laughs> sorry, that's funny. Um, yeah, for those where this is a business connection and or love connection. You know what you want and you're not afraid to take risks, but I feel like you guys have already kind of turned your back on this emperor for business and or love because you knew. It's like you kind of knew your bells and whistles were going off like, no, this is going to make me, make me feel trapped. This is going to make me feel trapped. This isn't good. This is very imbalanced. This is like not right. I, I need to get out of this. I need to be away because your intuition was telling you so. Your intuition was signaling to you like something's not healthy here something's not healthy something's not right i need to pull away this person's not sure of themselves this person doesn't have a good standing or a good footing in their life they don't have a whole lot of stability and i know what i want i have my stability so i'm taking my stability going and taking my risk anywhere else in love and or business because you already knew however this person feels like it's an injustice that you did that okay some of you haven't come into this energy yet some of you haven't had this conversation with this emperor yet but you will you will. And when you decide this is not for me, because I know what I want, you clearly don't. I know who I am. You clearly don't. I have my stability. You clearly don't have stability. They're going to see it as an injustice. And even as you walk away, you know that. You do know that. Overall energy. Yeah. See, look, 10 of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. This person is not stable. They're not offering you something stable. They're offering you something very, very risky. I heard loophole. I just heard loophole. Yeah, be very careful who you are trying to go into business with or trying to get into a love connection with. This person's not stable. They're not stable. It just doesn't feel good. And your your bells and whistles are already telling you that, Virgo. They're already telling you that. So you're just, you're taking your stability and taking a risk elsewhere when it comes to business and or love. And as you should, as you should. Let's just look at the chariot. Let's look at the chariot here uh i'm feeling steampunk for this one I haven't used a steampunk yet today tell me about the chariot this might be, be you getting the hell out of dodge <laughs> away from this emperor tell me about the chariot tell me about the chariot hold they keep telling me virgo hold to your beliefs but i feel like you're already doing that tell me about the chariot for virgo tell me about the chariot for virgo Regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. 
Tell me about the chariot for Virgo. Tell me about the chariot for Virgo regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about the chariot for Virgo regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about this chariot for my Virgos. Tell me about this chariot. Let's see here. I just heard secrets. This emperor might have some secrets too. Some of you guys might be feeling that. Wow. Four of Wands in reverse, Aries energy. Wow, was a lot of fire. Two of Wands, Aries energy, and then Eight of Wands in reverse, Sag energy. Wow. So, Virgos, we're not done picking cards yet. We're not done picking cards. But Virgo, you're getting the hell out of Dodge because this Emperor, like I said, you feel the instability with this person. Some of you have already been involved with them, but I feel like it's really more about discussing things. And as you're discussing things, it's like, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> Not doing this. I can't do this. I can't do this. Getting the hell out of Dodge. Um, and with this four of wands in a verse, oh, focus. With this four of wands in a verse, the two of wands and eight of wands in a verse, I feel a little bit of a trapped energy with this emperor. I feel like this emperor is the one who has some major blocks about moving forward, inability of moving forward. It's almost like they see you getting in your chariot. Remember that analogy of the car? They see you getting in the car, turning on the ignition, and you look at them and you're like, step it up and get in the car or I'm leaving. Or I'm out of here with my stability and my and my risk taking energy and my holding my beliefs. And here here's where they're sitting. They they it's like they can't follow you. It's like they don't know how to follow you. They don't know how to follow your stability. They don't know how to like how to be you, essentially. They don't know how to have the confidence in what they and their capability or what they could offer. They're so unsure of themselves. It's really kind of sad, actually, Virgo. It's really sad. So as again, you're getting in your Dodge Charger or whatever, your chariot. I don't know why Dodge Charger just came to me. Some of you guys might drive that kind of a car. So as you're getting in your car heading out, this this emperor is left standing there like, I, I couldn't step it up. I don't know how to step it up. It's kind of sad. It's kind of sad. All right, let's see what else we got here. I, I feel like this emperor has secrets. It's really bothering me. It's really bothering me. I might look at that after this. Tell me about the chariot. Tell me about the chariot for Virgo regarding love, August 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about the chariot for Virgo. Yeah. Tell me about the chariot for Virgo. Yeah. Yeah. It's This is a... I feel so bad for this person now. Now we have Knight of Wands in reverse. Sagittarian energy could also be Aries or Leo with the Eight of Swords, Gemini energy. This person is very unstable and they're trapped. They're stuck. Look at this. They're stuck. They're trapped in their own instability. They, and it's interesting. They must be a fire sign or have fire in their chart because they got a lot of fire going on here. Not necessarily, but I'm just surprised how much fire is here. They're stuck in instability. They have no idea where to go because they can't move forward. Eight of Wands in a verse. They have no idea how to, how to progress. And then Eight of Swords more trapped energy with unpredictability I, not knowing how to move forward a night in reverse not knowing how to move forward as you keep moving forward overall energy two of pentacles in reverse capricorn energy struggling struggling to figure out what to do here about you virgo wow wow I like, oh my God, we're only 20 minutes in. This was a really quick reading for me. Um, since we since we got some time, let's look at this, this secret energy. It's really bothering me that this emperor, I really feel strongly this emperor's holding back on something. They've got a secret of some kind. Um, no, Kipper, okay. I was about to do tarot cards. I'm like, no, Kipper feels more accurate, feels better, feels better. Keep in mind the Kipper deck is very detailed. So not all of these details will apply to you guys, and it's all just general energy anyway, but whoever needs to hear about these secrets, you're, you know, let's go ahead and find out. What is this emperor holding back from Virgo? What is, that was quick, house, energy of 20 breaking down to a two, house, that's interesting. House is exactly how it sounds, it's about real estate, it's about real estate, it's about homes, um, it could also be about, be about matters that are close to the heart, like, you know, something that's really precious to you. So some, it's something like that. It, whatever this, this thing, this thing that the emperor is not telling you, Virgo, 
keep in mind it could be vice versa so it could be the cross watchers wanting to approach a virgo who's an emperor in reverse so keep that in mind but this this secret this thing that the emperor is not saying to virgo that they probably should is either about real estate or family or their actual home environment if you live with this person i doubt you live with this person it, but it could be around that home environment real estate investments or something that's just really precious to them tell me more of what this virgo is holding back on i mean oh what this virgo is holding back on what <laughs> some of you definitely is vice versa tell me more about what this emperor is holding back from virgo oh interesting sudden wealth with the energy of 11 what sudden wealth is exactly how it sounds guys it's money so this could be a big payoff of an investment and the emperor's not forking that information over or okay this is coming in a lot of different flavors guys so this could be that the emperor is not telling you that they're sitting on a big thing of money or that they're sitting on a lot of wealth um, or that they come from a very wealthy family they could be not telling you that, that they come from a very, very wealthy family or they have a lot of money, they have a lot of real estate. It could also be as simple as um, they feel like they're really abundant with you and that's really important to them because it's house, right? Matters of the heart, matters that are really close and precious, um, that you're very precious to them and they feel really wealthy in an emotional sense, a physical sense because of you or to have you in their life not to mention 11 if you break it down as a two you got two twos here essentially so it could be anything in those realms so keep that in mind that you're basically a jackpot to them in the financial sense or emotional sense um or they're sitting on a lot of money or a lot of real estate or they come from a very wealthy family okay what else is this emperor holding back what else is this emperor holding back from virgo what else is this emperor holding back from Virgo? Oh, nope, okay. What else is this emperor holding back from Virgo? <laughs> oh, interesting, expectation. 28 is a cyclical energy. Expectation is actually like a waiting card. It's very indicative of like the three of wands. It's actually known as the three month waiting period card. So whatever this energy is, they've either been in this, this emperor has either been in this energy for three months as you've been watching this, or they're going to be like experiencing a jackpot or an income of money, income of money, incoming wave of money in three months from now. But it is also a sense of waiting. Some of you haven't spoken to this person in three months. For those where they're like, Virgo, you're my jackpot. Like a three month waiting period of communication for some of you. Others, this emperor's waiting on a big payout three months from now, or they got one that started three months ago. Tell me more about what this emperor is hiding. Tell me more about what this emperor is hiding from Virgo that they should probably be telling Virgo. Wow. Concern concern this is interesting so yeah for some they're actually worried about money that they're supposed to be getting or they're worried that nothing will happen with you like for those where they see you as a jackpot right um or there's something about their family wealth that might be in jeopardy and they're worried about that but on the bottom we have great fortune oh shit and look we have despair right after that yeah some of some of these emperors are worried that they're about to lose their family fortune or they're about to lose a lot of money or real estate that they're sitting on or um, that they're just gonna lose you and you're really precious and like a jackpot, fortunate, abundant energy for them and they're really worried about losing you. But there's something about three months here. There's something about three months that's hitting home for some of you. Wow, okay, all right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pull some advice. Let's pull some advice, Virgos. Any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? 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 Oh my God, it's... Ay. Okay. 
<laughs> my tattoo is still healing, so I was like, let me just check it real quick. Any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Wow, what did I just say about waiting? Seahorse spirit, watch and wait. 53 breaking down to an eight. It's interesting that this is the advice because it's basically like, I just heard cooking, cooking. Something's cooking. Something's cooking with this emperor. It's, it is a period of waiting. That's really interesting. Virgos, you keep pushing along. You keep pushing. You go and do whatever you got to do. Turn on that ignition. Whatever plans you're cooking up, go ahead and do that. But this waiting energy is coming in very strong. There might be a waiting period between you and this emperor of needing to talk again in like three months or so. And I only say three months because this is a three-month timeline card, okay? That's the only reason why I say that. And it is coming in very strong for me intuitively. So keep it pushing. Get in your Dodge Charger. <laughs> get in your chariot. Go along. Do what you got to do. And maybe three months from now, this person will be more stable to work with or become romantically involved with. And maybe then they'll have stepped up their game, okay? But definitely that's something about cooking. Something's cooking. 53, by the way, breaks down to an 8, which is a very abundant, prosperous energy. For some of you, whatever it is you're working on, if it's business and you've got a project going on or you're building a business, you won't see the benefits or fruits of your labor until maybe about three months from now. Okay? So just keep that in mind. Any advice? Ooh! <laughs> Sorry, I got excited. I love this card. Rabbit spirit. Luck is on your side. 49. Oh, look, now is a lucky time. Same thing. 49. <laughs> Breaking down to a four, stability. This is a very fertile card, a very empress-like energy. And we did get a little peek at the empress for you guys. It's a very virgo -y card, even though it's associated with Venus. It's kind of like Mother Earth, right? Earth Mother energy. Very Virgo, very Virgo. Plus, you guys are the magician as well. Very fertile time to be cooking some stuff up, to be planning and getting shit going. So whatever it is you want to work on, even if it feels like it's kind of just a dream or really kind of out of your grasp, just go for it. Just go for it, okay? Very fertile time for you, Virgos. Not to mention we're coming into your season. Any other advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Virgos? Oh, that's it. Overall, oh, of course, Virgo. You would get my version of the Hermit card in this deck. Brown Bear Spirit, take time out with the energy of nine. Coming to a completion on something here in this Hermity Virgo energy, and I feel like that completion is dealing with this emperor or just dealing with people who are not going to be up to your level like I said I heard it step it up and I like I saw those turbines going it's like st step it up get in the car or your ass is getting left behind right but this is an energy of being in a little bit of a hermit mode being in that little bit of a isolated uh, isolated yeah isolated why did that sound weird for a second isolated energy to really think things through I feel like this is more about your planning process I feel like this is more about you doing your research on whatever it is you're trying to work towards um, working on yourself, doing any inner work that you feel you need to do, deciding exactly what beliefs you need to hold on to and hold strong on, and figuring out exactly what it is you want, right? But the fact that Hangman's in reverse tells me that this is you coming out of that energy and knowing what it is what you want, and then going ahead and putting it into action, just like a Virgo, just like a Virgo. So that's the overall advice. Um, but guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was a really fun read, actually. <laughs> this was a really fun read. I feel bad for this emperor, but... Maybe they'll get to sh their shit together three months from now, okay? Hopefully, right? But guys, go and do you. It's a very fertile time for you, apparently. Even spirits like luck is on your side, use it. Use this time. It's time to get shit going for you guys. So I hope you guys have a really great birthday in Virgo season, and I hope you guys check out Patreon, and hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys later, okay? Namaste.